Deployment, big guns never tire, 1000 points of orcs versus 1000 points of Dark Angels Deathwing being represented by Ultramarine models and Grey Knight models. We have Belial with a bunch of Terminators, he's going to be deep striking. That is a Whirlwind, I believe, and a bunch of other Dark Angel dicks hanging around in buildings and some scouts over there. Truck full of mega knobs and a warlord, dreadnought, uh, death red rather, some more boys, some killer cans, and a truck full of mega knobs, and some more killer cans. Uh, deployment was, sorry, uh, initiative was run by orcs. We've got one orc objective there, the objective of dark angels over there, and then we rolled a random scatter for the third objective, which ends up pretty much in the middle of the table in the open. So that was Orc turn one, nothing happened. The Warlord has a Warlord trait that allows extra dice rolls for running. So the Warlord moved up there, these boys came in behind him. This Death Cred and those two Killer Cans, supported by a mob of boys, moved up towards that objective. No. Truck moved forward, Mega Knobs disembarked and started moving up those stairs. Killer Cans moved forwards and got a really awful run roll and basically stepped one place forwards. That's it for Orc Turn 1. Next up, Dark Angels Turn 1. Alright, so... <laughs> Dark Angel first turn. What did they do? Okay, so let's start over here. The snipers moved up onto this staircase and shot at these boys and killed two. Because they can shoot over the top of that truck, they've got the elevation. That bloody whirlwind thing, which is actually a looted predator turned into uh, an orc truck, that shot down here, ordnance weapons, and made orc jam out of this unit of boys. Killed that many of them. They then failed them to <laughs> their morale check quite horrendously and have run away. Um, the Dreadnought fired into the Killer Cans, reducing the wound on by one on one Killer Can, the health points rather. The Devastators over here fired down onto the Dread, Death Dread and removed one health point from that. And then Belial and his Deathwing Terminators teleported into the middle of the map using uh, Belial's annoying homing beacon thing, Deathwing Assault, that's it. They then shot at and wounded one Mega Knob, and then Belial walked down the steps and just utterly slaughtered the remaining two Mega Knobs using Fleshbane on his ridiculously overpowered sword. That is three dead knobs, that's a full unit of knobs dead, that's one point for a full unit destroyed, and one point for first blood to Dark Angels. Okay. End of Orc turn two, what happened? These Orc boys decided to run towards this building, made a terrible run roll and only moved two inches on their extra run. The truck unloaded an Orc war boss and three Terminator buddies, Terminators, I've been playing against Dark Angels, three Meganob buddies who fired up against the scout squad that was on this gantry here and killed four of them, just leaving the sergeant who needs to make a morale check, probably. No, probably not because he's Dark Angel fearless bastard. Uh, Dreadnought, Death Dread fired on the Dreadnought with two custom Mega Blasters and missed horribly. Uh, the Grots fired their Grotzookers up at the Assault Squad, sorry, Devastator Squad that is up in that building but didn't do any damage. These boys regrouped amazingly and then ran three inches for their regroup move and fired snapshots up into this Terminator Squad belonging to Belial and actually managed to kill a Terminator. Amazing. Um, and these killer cans hid tactically behind this truck, which also shot up here and did it wound him? It, yeah, the truck actually managed to wound Belial, which is amazing. <laughs> so that's the end of Orc Turn 2. Dreadnought. 
Thank okay. You. <laughs> okay. Uh, recap of Dark Angels round two. We had the scouts up here. The, all that was left was the scout sergeant. He threw a grenade and it missed, bounced off. He then, in the assault phase, tried to charge against the Mega Knobs here, but uh, he basically fell over and died. Uh, it was Overwatch, the, the Mega Knobs killed him on Overwatch. Uh, the Whirlwind over here fired on the mob of 18 Orc boys and a knob that were here and obliterated them. There was this many left who, unsurprisingly, ran away. The Dreadnought fired against the Death Dread and missed, but then moved into close combat on the assault phase with the Death Dread and ripped it to shreds. Uh, the Devastator Marines fired against the Orc Warboss and the Mega Knobs that were over here. And as you will see, there are only two Mega Knobs left because the Orc Warboss and another Mega Knob got lasered by a laser gun. Over here, Belial and his Terminator squad have fired down onto the remaining Orc boys here, killing all but two, who ran away. It's unsurprising. Over here, the truck and the killer cans are untouched. Big whoop. So, that is Dark Angels round two. Quite a successful round for the Dark Angels. The Orcs are pretty much routing. Okay, and we're back with Orc turn three. Uh, this unit of Orcs, if you remember, was fleeing from the ridiculous whirlwind assault. And they actually rallied and made a three-inch move to this direction, because they're going to head over there. Uh, hmm? the, other two didn't. the other two Oh yeah, I forgot about those two. The other two orcs that were fleeing from this direction didn't make their rally and fled off the edge of the board and that's a full unit destroyed. That unit there is now completely destroyed and that scores another point for Dark Angels who are willing, winning by a ridiculous amount, but we'll come on to that in a minute. The Mega Orbs moved forwards and shot at the Whirlwind and failed to do any damage to it. The truck failed to do any damage to the Whirlwind. These killer cans managed to take a hull point off the Dark Angel Dreadnought. Hooray for those guys. They're still within three inches of that, that capture unit. Sorry, objective. So they're kind of holding it, but I think the Dreadnought is probably within three inches as well, maybe. So he's probably contesting it. These killer cans down. Yeah. Shot up at the Terminators here and killed one. Hooray. Truck shot up at the Terminators. Did bugger all. So... Very little happening for the Orcs in this game so far. Looks like the Dark Angels are going to win by quite a lot. And that's the cat. Shut up. On what was it? A squad up, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, where are we? Okay, that was the end of Dark Angels turn three. And unsurprisingly, they have utterly decimated the Orcs again. So, uh, what happened? The Terminator squad with Belial... Uh, they destroyed the truck that was left over from a bunch of boys. The Dreadnought completely destroyed the two killer cans, those guys, that were holding that objective. Uh, the Dreadnought is an elite and not a heavy support, so he doesn't count for capturing that objective point. It doesn't really matter because there's nothing left around it to contest it just yet. There's been various shooting from over here from the Devastator Marines inside that building out through the window who shot down over here to where the Mega Knobs and the truck are and the laser cannon took out another Mega Knob. There's one Mega Knob left there, one truck. Two killer cans over here, and that is it for orcs. Orcs are being absolutely destroyed this game. So we've got one objective held over here by the Devastator Marines, one objective held here by Belial and his squad. That objective is not taken, but it doesn't really matter because at this point, the number of units destroyed by Dark Angels is so much that there's not a chance of the orcs running, uh, winning it back. But we're going to move on to Orc Turn 4 anyway. Okay, and that was a very, very quick turn four for the Orcs.
because most of them, as you can see here, are dead. Uh, that auto vehicle was obviously destroyed in the last round by the Dark Angels. These grots over here, the killer cans over here, managed to fire onto Belial's Terminator squad and managed to kill one Terminator. Ready for them. Uh, that one there is rubbish and managed to shoot over there somewhere. Then we had the truck and the remaining Mega Knob firing onto the Whirlwind and managed to reduce it by one hull point. The remaining Mega Knob then failed his charge distance because he sucks. And because there is very little left in the way of Orcs on the table, that was it for Orc Turn 4. And now we're going to move on to Dark Angel Turn 4, where they mop up the last of the Orcs. 